Public speaking, everyone. This is just like taking a speech class. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to Questions with Fluke. I'm here to answer your questions that you ask through Twitter. Let's get started. Who is better at moving their hips? Me or Shakira? I'm not going to answer that question. I think you guys should decide. Sean McKinley says, I don't have a question, but I do have this. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for taking photos of me on stage. I love seeing the people's perspective. Thank you. What is a good way to practice dancing to learn how to move more fluidly, particularly for someone with no dancing skill at all? Well, find a place that's comfortable for you and put on some music and just dance. Where I was most comfortable with dancing was actually in the bathroom because it was the only spot away from my roommates that I could kind of just do my own thing. Don't think about how you're dancing or whether or not you're doing it right because you're just dancing from the soul. Who are your inspirations for being a dancer? Some of my inspirations are definitely Doryu. And Strobes. Those are, wow. Big inspiration. I think Kai was one of the first ones that I that I saw, and she was a big inspiration for me too. I watch a lot of group choreographies, so one of my favorite dance crews are called Brotherhood. You can check them out here. And I just love the way that they groove and the way that everything is so clean and their pops are just bam, bam, bam. I want to eventually get to that level one day. Argent Ellie from Twitter says, Hey Fluke, what's the reasons you chose your species? What about your color palette? Keep on dancing, seeing you. Always makes me smile. Thank you, Argent Ellie. That's really nice to hear from you. The reasons why I chose my species is because when I was like 16 years old, I made a wolf persona, and I really like the color blue, so I just like splashed some blue on the wolf, and then I noticed that there are so many wolves in the furry fandom, and I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna pick something completely original and go with a husky. And then here I am realizing that there are just as many huskies as wolves if not more. People just love the curl tail. I don't know. Von Dor from Twitter says, Okay, maybe most people know, but I don't. What's with the crown? I actually got this crown from winning Floor Wars at BLFC in uh, 2018, I believe. Yeah, 2018. At the very end, one person came up to me and he gave me this inflatable crown. And he was like, here, you deserve this. And um, I just decided to wear it ever since then. So that's the story of the crown. How long have you been dancing for? And how many times do you practice? I try to practice twice a week. I should be saying every day, but I also have a lot of other stuff going on. Like I'm in school and I'm studying for finals and whatnot. I'm also doing like a hip hop class at my, at my school, which goes on once a week. So that also contributes to how much I practice. I practice in fursuit, maybe like once every two weeks because I want to like take video and see how I look dancing in fursuit. And sometimes I even post that to Twitter because why not? Sexy Fox from Twitter says, Why Huskies are so cute? This is just the way that I was born, honey. Every five rows from Twitter says, I want to learn how to dance, but I can't find any good YouTube videos for complete beginners. Any recommendations or even demo vids would be cool. They're actually like all over YouTube. I don't really have very many recommendations. Okay, that wasn't a very good answer. I actually do have a good recommendation. Visit my friend Rin the Circle and support his Patreon. He does really great beginner dance videos specifically for fursuit dancers. Also stay tuned to my YouTube because I definitely want to post some tutorial videos on how to dance. If you want to find videos that I have seen that inspire me, you can just go to my YouTube channel and I believe I have two playlists. I have one that's for fursuit dance inspiration and one that's for dance inspirations so people out of first seat how do you get started dancing do you start freestyling and then moving to more choreographed stuff is it the other way around or do you start learning popular dances and then going from there with your own move i just came back from a and e and saw the dance comp it inspired me that's awesome watching the dance comps inspired me too that's how i got into dancing i did not start with learning popular dances I had a choreographer because I used to be in a show and he showed us different moves like the seven step and clocks and whatnot. Um, kind of cheesy dance moves, but it showed me stage presence. Stage presence is what you want as a performer. It basically means that when you get on stage, you're just loose. You're not tense. You know how to move and move the audience and move throughout the stage. I think ultimately it's just getting over your fear of dancing in front of other people. 
And having a fursuit is definitely a great way to kind of explore that and be someone that you usually would not be. Just go to the stage and start dancing and see how other people react. And you'll be surprised at how positively people react to you just out there having a good time. And that's ultimately how you can get better. What is your favorite video game? City Skylights! Feeling like your fursuit is the most optimal to dance as it is or planning some change in the future? I think what you're asking is, am I planning to change or alter my fursuit at all in the future to better my dancing? Yes! First of all, it's an amazing, amazing fursuit. I am in love with the quality. In love with the quality. But um, I'm wearing slippers. <laughs> so whenever I dance, I dance in slippers. And it's really difficult because slippers, they don't really cling onto your foot very well. Your foot kind of slides around. So eventually, I want to commission Nick and Lacey for some like actual shoes that are inside foot paws so that my foot paws don't slide around. Corvus on Twitter says, what are the largest challenges dancing in a fursuit? Are there any advantages or moves you can do in it that you wouldn't attempt otherwise? I think it's the other way around. I think there's definitely moves that I can do out of it that I would not do in fursuit. Like tumbling, I cannot tumble at all in fursuit. I'm very nervous too, because this is a very expensive carpet that I'm wearing and I'm nervous to like rip any of the fur. I know some fursuiters still do it, like my friend B-Boy Flitch. He's an amazing break dancer and I take a lot of inspiration from him. But I personally am really afraid to tumble in fursuit. Um, I think the largest challenge behind dancing in fursuit is not being able to see your paws, your hands, or your body while you're actually dancing. For me, if I can't see my body, then it's really difficult for me to move to the next dance move. Synchro asks, how did you learn how to wag that curl so good? Meow cat face. I'm gonna go back to my story where I would dance in the bathroom while I was waiting for the shower to warm up. Let's just say that you're the mirror. This is me. Ooh, that looks really good. Ooh, I wish I had a curl right now. That would look amazing. I just wag all the time. That's how I get better. Nadia, the L-shaped doggo asks, can I pet you? Of course. Can you reach me through your screen? What is your favorite part of the furry fandom? Kyo, I am so- Oh. That was my chair. I did not fart. That was definitely my chair. Okay. Kyo, thank you so much for asking that question. My favorite part of the furry fandom is seeing how much good that comes from it. In a lot of the conventions that I have attended, they raise a lot of funds that go towards different charities. What kind of music do you like and is there an artist you like specifically? Hmm. I think a lot of people who have seen my performances can definitely say that Bruno Mars is like my favorite artist to dance to. Almost to the point that people get annoyed because I've danced to like four of his songs so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> I haven't really seen any drama from Bruno Mars. The only drama that you see is him having a good time. So that's kind of what I want to represent. It's just me out there having fun dancing. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm done. That wraps up this video, guys. I really appreciate you guys sitting through the whole six minutes or 11 minutes, however long I edit this for. Thank you for watching. Please tune in to my next video, whenever that is. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a party. And thank you to Abu News for setting up this interview. I really appreciate the opportunity. So until next time, thank you guys for tuning in.